Hi, good morning everybody. This is Cal. Let's talk about our goal today, 27 August, Thursday, 2020. Now, when I posted the target of goal hitting 1902, many people side text me and say that Cal, are you serious? We are having a market that's so bullish and looking at goal to hit 1902. And, uh, you know, the thing is this, when I receive such a message, I always tell them, look, you guys are PSV trained, and definitely you know that why they put a level in there, right? And, of course, for public members who text me, they were, like, baffled by it. They said that impossible, that goal will go there. So when goal hit 1902 last night, or somewhere near there, everybody was shocked and asked me, do I have any big boys connection? Now, I don't have those connections, how I wish I had. But the thing is, is I don't, but we do have the PSV system. So let's take a look what happened yesterday. Now, at the start of the morning, nothing much changes. Was it was the before 9 a.m., we don't really advocate trading. But then when the price came down below pivot 1, the KCX blink. So of course, CCRY cross pivot 1 is a very bullish call. So you buy and you profited $2. First trade, I think several of you make money, right? Congratulations. But after that, when the price came back down to CCYR below OP, that this is where you should go for sell, right? And then I believe some of you did that with me. And we sold the market down all the way to KTR minus 2 and we stopped there. Now, why did we stop there? Because the KX was blinking for us. Even though the boys were selling, but KCX was blinking. So you have to know how to buy back your position. And indeed, after the, the traders bought back the position, CCRY kicked in. It's a zebra effect, and of course, if people bought in because of KCX, because of CCRY, you buy for $2, you're gaining it once again, all right? Now, the thing is this, at the level here itself, when the market broke below there, CCYR, the question is, is there a sell level here? Uh, no, because this is, the thing is that the there's no triggering, there's no triggering in this particular case, but it's a single yellow, so again, if people want to take, try their luck and do a sell here, and put a stop loss right here itself. There's nothing wrong about this, just that there was no trigger for this particular trade, all right? It's something that you must take note of that. And of course, the gold plummeted down all the way, came down to the low of 1902 uh, level. Wow, that was really incredible. And after that, the market hit pivot 2. Now, we know that when the market hit pivot 2 and it closed below pivot 2, it's a sell. This is something we know. But if the market rebound, it will be a buy, right? And with the KCX at the bottom, screaming at extreme level, CCRY, this is where you buy. Now, this particular trade is unique. Why? It is because it has a few reasons for buying. Why? Number one, it triggered the pivot two, rebounded. Number two, it triggered KTR minus three, KTR minus two, KCX call for it. And the very incredible important reason is it's a KSI jump. Yes, it's a jump. When you jump right here, my God, this is a definite buy. And of course, the gold went for a stake all the way. And when it crossed pivot one, you know, when the market crossed pivot one, it's very bullish. You cannot short it. And gold went all the way up, all the way, and it triggered KTR plus three perfectly. This is something that you must always remember. Never, never underestimate the power of the boys. Do know where we stand. Do know where the technical points are and also follow and the market is about pivot one. No matter what you tell me, you're always a buyer, okay? So this is something that we learn and we know. As long as you're PSV trained, you should be doing pretty fine. Now, how about now, today? Now, the thing is this for today, uh, basically, you know, what is crazy is that the our target actually for 1902 is because coming from here. It's 1901.73, that's why I gave a 1902 target level. The today low was about 1902.66, but doesn't matter. Let's look at for today. Now, the thing is this, for today, the market opening price is above pivot 1 and pivot 2. So logically, it's very, very bullish, but the market has to stay above the opening price. If the market stays below opening price, it's entering what we call the uncertainty zone. We do not do anything much unless as a CCYR trigger, then we can sell down the market. And um, you can see a very distinctive, uh, strong support at the cage support level. Very strong, distinctive support. So I got a, this naggy feeling that with the KSI rate, blue bars are still there. There is a very fairly good chance for and test the support level. And that's about one, uh, 1924 level. Okay, uh, 1924, that's about nearly 20 hours from here. And if that is going to be done and the market stays red, then this will create a single yellow formation and this is not very nice and if gold do close below 1924 then there should be some selling back down again to 1901 this time okay this is my personal take on gold but on the flip side because of the strong bullishness um 
factor here. So if gold can recover above OP, then I believe that gold may go back all the way up to even to 2000 level. Okay. So my personal take is more towards downside. But if gold can cross above OP because of what fundamental reason, then things can change towards the upside. All right. In terms of the intraday chart, you can see pretty clear now. Once the market opened, gold have been staying down below the opening price and it went down. And now it triggered the KTR minus one level, but there's no color change. There's a few KCX signal now. We just have to wait for our turn. Wait for the color change for people to do a short term buy uh, for $2 profit. Okay. So traders, uh, I've given you my take. I still believe that gold might be coming down, especially if we break the support level of day chart. All right. So careful on that and may you make money in gold once again. This is Cal signing off.